hello guys so in this video we are going to implement and add the google map in flutter app so for that purpose go to the pub.dev site and simply search for the package google maps flutter which is this one okay first of all you need to install this by simply copying this without the version number which simply means whenever a new version is available it will get it automatically so here we can add this new dependency google maps flutter click on pub get then after that we have to come back here to the documentation read me and in here here are the steps which we have to follow so for that purpose first of all we need to go to the google developer console you can come here directly by typing this console.cloud.google.com and it will redirect you to this page after that you can click here and click on billing when you click on billing if you are totally new then you will create the billing account you will see the create billing account button where basically you have to enter your debit card or credit card information and it will create a billing account for you which simply means that after the creating the billing account you will be able to use the google services google cloud services like google maps google location api google maps api and so on so anyways once you come here and click on the billing make sure to first select your project if you go to all for example the firebase project okay my project name is in driver clone so from here as i told you you will click here click on all and select your project which is in my case in driver clone okay so you select your project from there and then it will show you that this project has no billing account because this is a new project so what we can do we can click on link a billing account okay so from here so it will show you your billing account here and then simply select your billing account from here and then click on set account now click on this google cloud that is come here to console.cloud.google.com and from here make sure that your project is selected which is a driver clone here you will see api and services click on that and then click on library and here you have to search for map sdk which you will also see as a suggestion here but in case if you don't find then you can simply say maps and search and it will tell you map sdk for ios map sdk for android so first of all let's proceed with maps sdk for android you have to enable this they will ask you if you want to restrict your api key no i don't want so i will click on maybe later now you have to make sure that the project is selected okay as it is selected then click on this hamburger button and then you have to click on this api and services either from here or from here if you forgot how to come to this page well it's simple go back to the documentation and simply open this google developer console you can come here directly by typing this console.cloud.google.com by typing this url plus enter it will redirect you to this page from here first of all make sure that you select your project okay and then click on api and services now as you know the google map sdk is enabled for our this in driver clone project how we can get the key well you can simply click on this credentials and you will find here the keys for example android key as you can see android key so click on the show key and it will show you the key then you can simply copy this key and come back to your project go to the global dot dot and here we are going to create a string type variable by the name google map key and to this we will assign our key so paste the google map key here for android then after it if you want to confirm that either the uh, api is enabled or not then click on library and simply search for map sdk for android which you see here as a suggestion you will find out that it is enabled successfully okay so anyways now we can come back to our project go to the home page dot dot and let's start implementing google map so first we will add our scaffold widget 
and in the body of this scaffold widget you can say Google map we'll apply some padding on it as you said start on from the top 26 and from the bottom we will give it padding from the bottom based on a variable because it will change on different log uh, on different scenarios according to different scenarios so double bottom map padding equals to zero so you will say bottom map padding for the bottom padding also in order to use the uh, google map we need to initialize here the controller for example you can say final completer google map controller we will give it name is google map complete controller equals to completer complete google map controller so we create an instance of google map controller by this name and then we need google map controller we will give this name as a controller google map so what we can do after the padding we will define the map type so we have different types for google map like for example hybrid non normal satellite terrain will use if you want to apply so we will go with the normal one just like uber or in driver my location enabled we will set that to true then the initial camera position which means any default position so from the documentation of our google maps flutter we can copy the position the default position for example if you scroll you will see here this google plex copy this and come back here and inside the global dot dot we can add we can say const camera position let's import camera position which belongs to google maps flutter ok so anyways now we can here apply this that is k google plex remove this underscore from here okay in order to make it private so then we can access it here so we can say k googleplex then when the map is loaded that is on map created google map controller let's give it name as uh, map controller to the controller google map we will assign the map controller and then we can say google map complete controller dot complete and pass the controller google map to it now this is the basic google map which we can display in our flutter app later on in the upcoming videos we will get the user current location and we will display it on this google map the live location of the user so anyways for now let's complete this setup and for that we have to go back to the documentation the google map code is completed now we have to do the setup so here as you can see uh, our minimum sdk it must be greater than 20 okay for the new versions so you already know that in our case it is already 24 which you can see then after it to our android manifest we have to add this metadata okay so copy this and we need to go to android app src main android manifest.xml and inside the application tag which is here this one above this ending application tag okay that is here we can add our metadata and all you need to do is here you need to provide your google map api key now here is important step about the api key 
if you remember while creating the Google Map API key we have not restricted it okay that is we need the right Google Map API key with credentials for example how and what I mean is you can come here to the documentation go to the Google Developer Console make sure that your project is selected from here and then go to API and services then go to credentials now as you know that these three will be created whenever we enable the Google Maps API for Android now here at the top you will see this button which is create credentials when you click on this create credentials it will show you API key so click on API key we have to click on this one okay API key now this is the required API key with credentials so it is creating that API key as you can see it is created successfully you can see that you can either copy it from here or from here which is this one API key it has no restrictions it has no restrictions so this is our required API key with no request uh, restrictions none restrictions okay show key and copy that key okay so you can either copy from here as well and remember this one okay restrictions none show key and simply copy it once you do that come back to your project first we will add that key here in the Android manifest and then in our global dot dot our Google map key we will update here as well once you do that now let's test our application on our phone So the Google map has set successfully on our Flutter Android app as you can see it show you the Google Plex default position. So it has been where it works successfully for the Android. We have to connect the Google map with the Flutter iOS app. For that purpose go to the Google map flutter documentation and now we will do the setup for the iOS as you can see so for the iOS the first thing remember for the iOS we have to enable the iOS maps SDK Google map SDK so go to the Google developer console first we will enable that that is make sure that your project is selected from here go to API and services then go to the library and then search for map SDK for iOS you will also see here as a suggestion okay maps SDK for iOS let's enable it So it has been enabled successfully. If you click on this enabled, it will show you that is Map SDK for iOS is also enabled now. And the same key will work for the iOS, okay? Which we already have here, okay? So there is no need to change it. So, anyways, now let's proceed and the next step will be to go to the documentation back and here we need to go to our iOS module where we have app delegate so go to your project open the iOS module and when you open this port file it will show you this suggestion which is open iOS module in Xcode so simply click on that so it will open our iOS module in the Xcode trust and open as you can see that inside the runner we have the app delegate file so as this code is a swift code so we will follow this one as you can see okay from here these steps we will fire f follow otherwise if you have app delegate dot m then you will add the this code okay it is simple as you can see okay so anyways now what we can do first according to our need we will import this Google Maps so copy this from here and in the Xcode in our 
app delegate file we will add that here just like this next thing is the API key so copy the API key from here and go to the Xcode in here we can paste it like this now this key we have already this key go to the Android Studio and from our global dot dot we can copy the Google map key copy this key from here come back to the Xcode and we can paste our key here now after that that's it okay so in iOS that is simple now we can simply test our application on the iPhone so now let's install the app on our iPhone please close the debugging before testing the application make sure to first clean the flutter project by running flutter clean command once the project is cleaned the next thing is of course you can get the dependencies by running the flutter pub get command and then after that the important step is right click on iOS right click on iOS and then open in terminal okay iOS in terminal and then you have to run the command pod d integrate run this command and then run the command pod install so it has been run successfully now the next thing is now we are going to install the app on our iPhone so the app is running now on our iPhone and now let's quickly log in to see the Google map on iPhone so here we go here you can see we have successfully connected our flutter application for iOS with the Google map that is we have implemented the Google map successfully in for iPhones as well as for the Android smartphones